away to Weymouth for the weekend. <laughs> We've made it to Weymouth. Laura is getting a tour of the vegetable garden. Very impressive set of vegetables. I fell asleep about 10 minutes before we got here and I'm not quite awake yet, so I'm lounging. I really need to not peace sign at the end of every segment I do for this vlog. <laughs> get really cold. I do have my swimming costume on but I can't bring myself to go in. It's too it's too cold but I actually haven't haven't even touched it. But oh no no that's so cold that's so cold. Even trying to get I'm so pathetic. But um mum and Laura have got in. So we are heading to get fish and chips for dinner now. Um, we are, look how cool this car is, Laura. <laughs> That's so cool. Um, yeah, we're gonna go get some fish and chips um, because that's what you do when you're by the seaside, right? Fish and chips. <laughs> Little, just like we're like ration portioning. Yeah. COVID's not that bad here yet. Google places in Weymouth to go for breakfast. The highest Wales. rated one I see. No. Google places in Weymouth to go for breakfast. Thanks a bit better. Here's what I found. too windy for you to hear me but um, I just went kind of into the sea I went up to like my uh, belly button I couldn't go any further but uh, Laura and my sister Laura and my cousin Anna are in and my mum and my auntie are going in now <laughs> um, but they're fully in I couldn't, I couldn't do it but it's still a beautiful day so I'm just gonna sit here and chill while they um go have a have a swim They were doing funny things, but as soon as I filmed them, they stopped like they're camera shy. I was trying to carry it with my mum. So. Oh God, so good. If you're ever in Weymouth, I've got it on my face now. If you're ever in Weymouth, don't get ice cream from anywhere but Rossi's. <laughs> it's banging. It's literally, this, this is a large cone, it's got to be two pounds. Ice cream men in London at the moment are charging over two pound for a Mr. Whippy. This is real Italian ice cream and look how big it is. And oh my God. Stop pub dinner. We are at a place called Milton Abbey. No, Milton Abbas. And we're going to a pub called the Hambro Arms for dinner. I'm so excited, hungry and ready to eat. Also, look how cute these cottages are. They're so bloody cute. Matched cottages. Proper country. This is so cute. So basically it was the first one of the first, some of the first ever like social housing. Um, so it was like two families lived in each house. Um, they're all, oh my God, they're so cute. So there's one door at the front, one door outside, that's the post office, but so cute. I'll show you around.
No, no, just look at my We <laughs> are in Abbasbury Subtropical Garden. Very excited to look around. Tropical. So let's look tropical. Tropical. Oh, they can't even tell I'm smart, are they? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's the point of being misery? Look at. Sorry, I look a bit rather muffiny this morning, but look at the colour of the sky. I'm going to like overlay a picture because, oh my god, there's literally not a cloud in it, and it's like the most beautiful like dark blue. It's unreal. I feel like I'm abroad. This is banging. Is it only me? Am I the only one who sees the way you laugh, the way you smile? It drives me wild. Some might say it's futile. The way I feel is past purely platonic. If I'm being honest, it's a one-sided love. But how can I complain when the view from my side is this sweet? A one-sided love. But how can I complain? So we are here. Portland there, Swanage over there somewhere, Exmouth, Exmouth. So there's a spot just there where you can see the monastery through the bushes, I'm going to overlay it because I did a really shaky bit of uh, footage trying to show you it, but you had to zoom in quite a lot, but in real life it's very obvious. <laughs> Hi guys, so, oh my god, it looks so sunburned. Um, so I just got back to London, had the best weekend, it was so much fun and yeah, it was great. Um, I would highly recommend if you feel comfortable with it getting a weekend out of London if you live here because it's really refreshing but I now need to sort my room out. It was actually not that much going on, just unpacking stuff and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.